Hi guys, welcome to another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss about the luxury brand Dior from France. And they're going to launch their amazing Web 3.0 drop. And despite of all the you know controversies going around the NFT world and you know the dip going around, like brands are trying to stay away, but they are not. So without any further delay, we're going to discuss in this video that what are the strategies behind this whole campaign and the product idea. So let's get started with this video. So guys, Dior has launched their first major Web3 drop. And yes, guess what? It's featuring a physical version of Kim Jones B33 sneakers paired with a NFT chip and authentication NFT. And it sounds pretty cool, right? And another interesting thing about this rollout is that the rollout is completely low-key and it's without any big PR push, you know, like normally community endorsements, influencers, some fashion shows, some brand launch and some stuff like that. It is very subtle in approach uh, and like other brands like do normally like Louis Vuitton or you know Ralph Lauren and Dior is very certain about this Web3 drop this year. Despite all the issues going around in the NFT world, Dior is open to the potential of Web3 technology to reinvent luxury and authentication but it's uh, to be conscious due to potential backlash from both web 3.0 or you know the traditional consumers so not only that brand is also planning to use this you know technology in all of the future iterations of b33 focusing on specific kind of guarantee and authentication in the whole product cycle and uh, they want to make sure that their loyal customers and their you know their luxury customers are aligned with them and uh, they know that what they are buying and it's also checkable on the internet as well so now let's talk about the release yes so the initial release includes around 470 pairs of turquoise and brown sneakers which uh, each containing an nft chips and not only that an additional nft on ethereum blockchain which means it's granting access to exclusive perks and information on the manufacturing process so that the loyal customers can see how their sneakers are made up. So it's a very good relation and trust building strategy from the company with their loyal customers. And guess what? The other limited edition styles will be part of the Dior Tears, man's capsule collection and it will be available on a slightly lower price range. So all these shoes are coming up with an NFC chip so that you can check in the real time and get the authentication that it's genuine and original by using your smartphone wallets. So who are the target customers? Well, Dior is aiming to attract the existing loyal luxury customers rather than targeting the newbies or Web 3.0 adapters by suddenly introducing Web 3.0 technology. Which means Dior is interested in their old luxury customers rather than this new money guys. Also to be mentioned, the brand is avoiding some of the volatility associated with the NFT drops by keeping the details private. Yeah, it's true. And avoiding the public tracks of the sale and transactions and accepting cryptocurrency as payment as well. So, well, you are buying a cryptocurrency thing, but uh, you have to pay in cash. So now let's talk about the strategy overall. So Dior approach is very similar to Nike's and Starbucks strategies, which also hides the Web 3.0 elements from customers while benefiting from the technology. So being soul bound means Dior cannot earn royalties on secondhand sales. Yes, it's true, but it allows the brand to maintain communication and promotion with the future owners. Being soul bound means Dior cannot earn royalties on secondhand sales, but it helps to remove the fakes, which allows the brands to maintain communication and promotion with the future owners if the shoe changes the hand in any case. Well, the long term impact of this Web 3.0 enable approach is yet to be determined. Well, it's true, because we can't predict something like that in a very near far future. But it represents a step towards embracing the potential of the technology in the luxury brand industry as well. So now let's talk about Authenticator. Authenticator is a platform that aims to make NFTs safer, better and faster for all users. Where consumers can easily discover, purchase and get the verified NFTs without the need of crypto or other wallets. Enhancing their digital freedom and brand engagement. Thank you so much for joining us in this video. We will be bringing some more interesting topic for your knowledge. So please like, subscribe and share with your friends. And if you have any other question or comments, please go down and comment below. Yeah, I'm watching it. So that's it for today's video. We'll see you in the next video. So please make sure that you hit the bell icon for the notifications for the upcoming video. See you in the next one. 
Have a great day.